So Google Earth rolled out brand new. Tell us about it, Matt. It's amazing. I I saw somebody tweeted a link and they said, oh, there's a new Google Earth, Google Earth. And I thought, big deal. Like, we've seen Google Earth. What's, you know, so what? Uh, I think it's great and everything. But it was, I, it stepped it up. Like, there's much more. I, I had just been in Italy and I went to a bunch of places that, that I had been and zoomed in and panned around and looked at the, it's, it's phenomenal. Like it's significantly, uh, more. Well, let's better. go to, let's go to Perugia right now. Zooming in. So what, so you've got your knowledge cards. Um, yeah. What else is, what else is different here? There's, um, I found the, the motion in this, I don't know if this part is new, but it was much more seamless yeah, it's um, really, really nicely done. Yeah, the that. panning and zooming, the the kind of not scrolling, it, but however you call it, in a sort of three D. Um, Stacy and I, by the way, are extremely jealous. Oh yeah, we want what, to go to Perugia. Perugia. Yeah, you you should. It's a fascinating. Uh, I I I had no idea. Like it was the capital of the the. Etruscan Empire. I mean, it was a big oh, deal. It's, it's, it's so medieval. Back in the day. It's in Umbria. Yeah. yeah. And it was a, at war at one point with Assisi. Uh, in fact, if I remember correctly, St. Francis was in the war and then he got injured. And that's when he went back to Assisi and became a monk. I've always loved Google Earth. Um, it's amazing. Yeah. Like I, it was like I saw it for the first time again. Yeah. And I was amazed all over again. Yeah, this is like looking down from an airplane. I mean, it's it's yeah. really great, and and it's fast. Now, have you seen Lion yet? Yes, that's a great movie. The story of an so Indian, good. Uh, yes. Indian orphan so good. who gets lost when he's only, I think, five years old or very young. Yeah, uh, gets on a train, his is uh, loses his brother, ends up thousands of miles away from home, completely lost, becomes a street urchin, is adopted by an Australian family, but still can never get over the idea that he lost right. his mother and his brother and his his sister. And, and then Google Earth comes along at just the right moment and someone tells him about it. And I remember that news story. I remember yeah. Yeah, reading me about me it too. and thinking that's incredible because um, it was such a powerful story. And it's an amazing movie. So he it's uses really Google cool Earth because he can only remember, you know, he remembers some, he's got the name wrong of the town. Yeah. He can't really... Yeah. He can't figure it out, so he just figures out what the radius would be of his, you know, how far the train right. went. It took him months, years, yeah. I think. Even. Really a neat story um, and, a, and a beautiful movie that was nominated. It was, so, uh, it was so incredible. I remember thinking, that can't possibly be true. Right. Like, it's so, it seems almost fictional, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. It actually happened. Yeah. Ooh, we just zoomed in on the 12 Apostles Visitor Center. Off Port Campbell National Park in Victoria, Australia. This is really remarkable. You really feel so. This is the dice over in the left. There's a die, and you click it, and you get a yeah. random spot. That's fun too. If you, I think for a kid, and there's some guides. There's like, oh yeah, as as a kid, yeah. this would be incredible. My daughter, when she was young, she loved Google Earth. Like she would spend hours just playing with it on a tablet and we showed her this and she's just like wow wait she, a minute she would maybe she would like this girl muppets around the world what okay uh oh i get it so here's an afghanistan uh, they're different nationalities yeah. yeah different different yeah. muppet nationalities oh. <laughs> it's just so seamless like before you know it was laggy or it blocky or and you would kind of lose the the um illusion in a way Right, it's just so seamless. Uh, this is this is this is like technology. even zooming to that level. Yeah, this is incredible. this yeah. is technology that just. <laughs> and I remember That's Google awesome. Earth, the original, awesome. when it was Keyhole. Um, right. I remember seeing a demo, and it was one of those things where uh, I actually told somebody from Google this in Perugia. It was one of those moments where I felt like I was living in the future, like where all of a sudden, you know, faster than light travel appears or something. Like it just felt so different and so futuristic and yet there it was and it was free it's pretty incredible when you think about it it's just remarkable you want to explore paris well we'd all like no, to dude lost civilizations from above oh wait a minute we're going to machu picchu <laughs> yeah, in a couple of months i wonder if that's a lost I was like, civilization paris is cool but lost, lost civilizations. civilizations how about nabata playa 
between 7,000 and 6,500 BCE, an urban community arose in what is currently the Egyptian. Now, what do I do to see more of it? Do I click this? I don't know. Just click indiscriminately. Boy, zoom in. There's a that's all you get. That's it. That's it. Well, it's boy, it's a that's a fascinating. No, I'm just I don't know. You might let's double click. Kind of looks like an abstract painting. Yeah, it's pretty. You can uh, in parts. I mean, there are some amazing things like camels and their shadows trekking across the yeah. desert that you can yeah. see. More lost civilizations. Let's do another. I one. remember we used to look for the um, the glitches or the. Uh, the hidden things or, you know, there was some a woman sunbathing or something. Right. Everybody in the newsroom, it's like work stopped while everybody <laughs> looked for all the little yeah. Easter eggs yeah. and Google Earth. Is it, is it making There was it? one where cars looked like they were levitating in a parking <laughs> lot because of the way the shadows. Right. This is really My dad cool. is on Google Earth. Your dad is? What's he really? doing there? Yeah. Is his art? No, I'm sorry. He's on Google Street View. Sorry. Oh, he's standing uh, okay. outside the house? No, he's and just Street he's View driving was his another car. great one too. Yeah, Street View actually when it came out, uh, uh, someone I won't name who I worked with was shocked and horrified and screamed bloody murder. And I said, "What is the matter?" And she said, "If you go to my house, the car was driving by just as she bent over into her oh, car to get the groceries out. She's hanging out, and of so the car literally window. all you see is her butt." Is her butt. In, and she said, it's going to take like a year for them to go back and re-index. Oh. So I said, you could send an email and beg them to like come down your street again. This you're actually oh. seeing Tulum. See, look at that. That's Yeah, this is the street view. So it's the next step, right? You, you uh, Yeah. Wow. And, you know, with all these 360 degree cameras and stuff out there, at, at yeah. some point, th this is just, you're going to be able to go anywhere and see anything. And you already can. I mean, there's not even just streets, but they've got guys with carrying them on their backs and right. people on scooters and like unicycles. Camels. Like you, you can get Goats. street view almost anywhere. Right. Inside hey, shopping. It, is malls. it an, a Scottish island that has them on sheep or something? Is that? <laughs> they that have. Wait They have street view. They have way more sheep than they do people. That's for sure. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was like street view cameras on sheep. I want to say street. So it's sheep view. Sheep view. Not Cameras sheep view. on sheep. Someone, someone, help me out here, because the Faroe Islands. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there's nobody oh. there. Yeah, they have to use sheep. There's like four people and a bunch of sheep. This is neat. One of the most mysterious view, human nice. structures ever built. Sheep view. Oh, so so it wasn't Google. It wasn't oh, Google that did sheep. it. It was. Yeah. That's funny. Ah. That's funny. Sheep view. 